welcome Tom Dijon. The nose is among our most crucial body parts. It helps us breathe, allows us to smell. It's also a prime target for the SARS-CoV-2 virus. An enzyme inside the nose is thought to be the entry point that allows the virus to get into the cells of the body and cause infection. Droplets uh, and aerosolized coronavirus, very high levels of it are produced by infected patients. So that is the entry level, which is why it's so contagious. And why Renata Pascolini thinks the vaccine her biotech company Phage Nova is working on, which is inhaled through the nose, much like a flu vaccine or allergy drug, could be very effective in fighting this coronavirus. In addition to being introduced in the upper and lower airway and, in, and producing an immune response in the lungs, it does go systemic. Creating virus-fighting antibodies in the bloodstream. Meanwhile, a single-dose inhaled vaccine developed by the biotech company Codagenics relies on a live, weakened version of the coronavirus to produce an immune response. The way it's delivered is very different as well because we recognize that there's a potential to deliver this in a means that uh, will provide greater access. Vaccine access, getting drugs to underserved populations, is a serious challenge. It's hard, for example, to get vaccines requiring extremely cold storage to more remote places. Nasal drop or nasal spray vaccines, on the other hand, could be manufactured quickly and sent in the mail, don't require trained personnel to administer, and might work for people who are afraid of needles. In the middle-income countries and developing world, there's a lot of need out there. And this is the kind of vaccine that, you know, the kind of profile for the vaccine, I think that would be very useful in, in those settings. I think it's a great idea as long as it, it can be shown to be very effective. It's not unheard of to have vaccines delivered by that route. What has to be demonstrated is that the body's absorption uh, is adequate enough to cause the immune response. A phase one clinical trial of the Codagenics vaccine is nearly done. Phage Nova is not at that point just yet. We have a long road to get to effectiveness and protection compared to others. Companies in several countries are working on similar concepts. Arms may soon have to make room for noses as experts consider new forms of vaccine delivery. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.